Hey everyone, Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com here, and as you can see, we are somewhere a little bit different. We're not in our eTechnics studio, we're actually aboard the ROG bus, or the ROG bus, however you want to call it. Essentially, we are on a double-decker bus, we're actually on the top floor at the moment, which is where Azusa fully kitted it out with all of their latest notebook products. We've got everything from the FX504 down to the SCAR edition, uh, G703, we've got my favourite laptop that Azusa make, the Zephyrus. This is probably my favourite laptop of all time. I've tested it, we've reviewed it, think that it's absolutely fantastic. It's got a Max-Q design with a 1080, a GTX 1080 in there, and it just really is a great laptop. Uh, we've got some other sort of key laptops as well. Some of these are 7th gen, some of these are 8th gen, so we've got the new i7 processors uh, and so forth in there. And then we've got some of the systems as well, so the GL12 sitting over there. Downstairs is a, a whole host of products uh, for the open platform team. So we're looking at motherboards, graphics cards, and everything in between. So essentially what we have is some rigs built up. So they're all, uh, what, from what I'm told, exactly the same. This one over here, you may actually remember because I built it. So um, I'm trying to remember the specs now, but from what I remember, i7-8700K, we've got a Samsung 960 Evo, uh, 10, GTX 1080 Strix, and uh, the rest of the kit is all from Thermaltake and ADATA. So we've got the ADATA XPG uh, Gamix memory, if I remember rightly, Thermaltake RGB 750 watt, and then one of their uh, RGB 360 AIOs. And uh, obviously all the latest Azus peripherals as well, keyboard, mouse, headset. Uh, I can't remember all the names, but I'm pretty sure it's the Fusion 300 um, and the Strix Flare, if I remember rightly. Either way, I know that we've actually done reviews on all this stuff, so go check that out on eTechnics.com. When you're actually aboard the bus, it doesn't actually feel like you're on a bus. If anything, it feels like you're more kind of in, inside a bunker. It's a really, really exciting place to be, and it's something a little bit new. We've seen Razer do something like this in the past, and they've gone to various events like Insomnia, but Azus are actually hoping to take this to universities, towns and cities near you and they will be sort of targeting people in that area so they know exactly who's going to be interested in sort of you know coming along, seeing this, sitting down, playing some games and just generally having a good time. And of course um, there's plenty of uh, drinks and that on, on offer as well. So uh, it seems like Azus has done a really really good job here and we're really excited to see this on the road and see exactly what it can do. If you do come and you're a kid with your mum and dad there's seating areas for your parents to sit down on while you have a, a few games with your friends. So this is something I guess that we've never really seen in the industry before. Really excited to sort of see how this plays. You can also see that everything's kitted out with the latest peripherals, so mice, the Fusion 300 headsets, and much, much more. If I was a kid and this rocked up into sort of my town or city, this would be the perfect place for, for me to go and have some fun with my friends and just really have a look at some of the latest products that Azus have got on the notebook level, as well as uh, just having fun in general. Loads of sort of cool lighting in here and just really a fun place to be. Really excited to see what happens with this and kudos to Azus for doing a great job. Until next time guys, if you did like this video, you know what to do and we'll see you in the next one. See you later.